Hi, my friends. I'm just going to push this to the side. Looks like I bought a few things. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a few days since I've actually sat down and filmed because I was able to do some pre-recording and stuff like that. You don't care about that. You care about this big old pile next to me? Yep. Yeah. I, I bought a few things. Mm -hmm. I had Ulta points. I got a YouTube paycheck, albeit a kind of small one, but I'm so grateful that I got that. And that, by the way, is because of you guys, so thank you very much for that. You guys are amazing. Anyway, I decided to treat myself just a little bit. I didn't spend that much money, but I have a lot. So let's just get into this and go through it and talk about the little goodies that I have back there. I hope it's exciting. I don't, I don't even know if it's exciting. And I think I'm forgetting things because I've been waiting for everything to come because I placed multiple orders. And... If I'm forgetting something, I'm going to just show it the next time. Let's just start with this. I went into TJ Maxx because I needed a couple of new t-shirts. I was looking at the stains on mine. I was like, you know what? These got to go. So, except while I was there, I was walking by. I wasn't even quite in the makeup aisle, but I walked by a storage section and I saw this. It's just sitting on the shelf all by. It's a little lonesome. It had the big old security thing around it. And I was like, the jackpot. This is the Artiste Elite Collection Mirror Finish Brushes. I always thought that these were very, very hyped up. And I was like, they can't be worth it. And I forgot one of the brushes. Halt that thought. Because yes, I did have to try them like immediately. <laughs> but you open up the box and this is how they come. They're quite heavy, quite luxurious. They're dirty because I used them. They have a soft touch grip handle. This is either, they say it could be a liner brush, but I use this to blend some of my eyeshadow. They're extremely soft, extremely dense, and they're, I still think they're overpriced. I don't necessarily think they are worth the actual money. I paid $79 for that set, but this would probably have been a $300 set if you're actually buying it from Artiste. This is the foundation brush, and let me tell you, this does blend foundation like a dream. I still had to tap over it with my beauty blender. It didn't necessarily leave strokes, but I don't know. I felt like I needed to complete the finish, but it's very soft, and it makes it a, for a very easy application. Like I said they're, they're weighty. They are ergonomic. I think it's cool. Yes, I paid a lot of money for them, but only live once. And this one I've been using for my concealer, and I very much like it for my concealer. I just got on for work, so I just touched up everything, so I don't know how fresh my makeup is looking, but I'm still glad that I have these, regardless of the ridiculous price tag. Still kind of glad I have them. Then I had to go to CVS. I needed to pick up my medications. And I saw this or someone talking about this online. And this is the Physician's Formula Muru Muru, I can never say that, the Baby Butter Collection. Anything that's in little babies, I had to get. And the bag was appealing. And this, if you bought a certain amount of dollar value of makeup, you got $10 back. And I don't know if you guys do this at CVS. When you see the $5 back, $10 back, pay for those items first. If you have a bunch of items left over that don't have that, do that transaction. Take all of those $5 bucks and $10 bucks and then pay for your second order. They will do it at the cash register for you and essentially, you, because I always let my coupons expire a lot of times, you save a ton of money. Like when I did this, I saved like another 30 bucks because I got $10 back on this, $5 back on the toilet paper, whatever else I was buying. So this is originally $30, which is a lot, but not a lot if you think about what you're getting. The packaging is absolutely adorable. I do love this iridescent bag. When you take it out, you have all of the little baby individual components, so it's really not a problem to store because all of the items come out. I do already have this, but I'm very happy to have another one because it smells beachy and it's a perfect summer scent, at least in my eyes it's a perfect summer scent, or in my nose, depending on how you look at it. This I haven't tried yet. Have you guys ever tried the Physicians Formula Body Butter? I like the little package, it comes with that little pull tab. 
it doesn't have a very strong smell. I just put self-tanner on, but I'm going to put some on of this on my hand. And you know, it has a very just nice light scent. It's not overpowering. It does smell like the perfume and everything. But you know, if you're not into heavy scents and a lotion, I think this is great. And it's a cute little one I can actually throw in my bag along with the gazillion other things that I have in there. It smells really nice. I go through lotions and body butters like crazy. Now, you do get a butter bomb, I think they call these. I have a cat here somewhere on my face, and I'm just itching all over. It's driving me crazy. I don't have my glasses on. I think these are called butter bombs. I don't know if this is the same color that I already have, so I do not want to open and swatch it, because if I do, then I'm going to put it into a giveaway. But I happen to like these a lot. Yes, they do have some shimmer to them, that doesn't bother me. I think it's flattering on me particular. I happen to like shimmer lipsticks. It gives some depth to my lips because my lips can are getting thinner and they tend to look flat. So I happen to like that. I wish I could read what colors they are, but this is a highlighter and it's actually very pretty. It's a little dark. Oh, the feeling? It literally feels like cream. Is this a cream? Maybe it is a cream. But look at that. It's got to be a cream because it feels way too much like a cream. Look at that. I haven't tried this, obviously. Ooh. This is one of the butter bronzers, which I don't have. I only have the one in the kit that I bought. This is just such a great bronzer. It's a very pretty color on me for my skin tone. I like it a lot. And again, it's little... I can use one in my purse. This is a blush. I have one blush that I wasn't a huge fan of only because it had a little too much shimmer. But this one looks very nice. It looks more matte. And it's a very, very pretty pinky rose in my opinion uh, color. I like it. And then I have never tried any of these. This is their eyeshadows. I've heard mixed reviews about their eyeshadows, but I thought the color combination was pretty. Now they're both shimmers, so you wouldn't need other colors, but that's a really pretty gray uh, purple, and that's a nice bronze color. Again, you couldn't just wear this. So, I mean, if you could, if you wanted to, but I would probably pair it with just a nude, rather a natural taupey brown or something in my crease, and then play with these. They feel nice. They look decently pigmented, so, you know. Now let me show you what I ordered from Becca. And, because they had a sale, of course. That's when I order everything. I get everything on sale. I remember ordering something else, and I don't know what it is. But I was a little disappointed in the size of these. I thought it was a little bit bigger. It's the Glam Glow, We Know Glow, um, and Becca. So it has a Becca highlighter and the Glam Glow. Let me take this out. So this is the Gravity Mud. I like the Gravity Mud. It's decent. It's way overpriced, which is why I got like this kit. I just thought that these were just a little bit bigger than this. I was like, wow, that's tiny. But this is just a cute little packaging in the pink, and it is the Gravity Mud. And then you got the Summer Skin Perfector in Rose Glow. I just like the little detail of the pink flying saucer. It's a very pretty very pretty color. Let's see if you can see that there. I happen to like Becca highlighters. Really, very pretty. I like it. And again, it's cute and tiny. I personally like to take a lot of my makeup with me when I go to work because you just never know when you're going to need to touch up. And sometimes I don't touch a lot of the things except for the lipsticks and lip glosses, which, by the way, I didn't put anything on today. Or touch it up, rather. Oh, well. So that's why I like those things. And then, ironically enough, I ordered the Becca Under Eye Primer because I've been waiting to try it because it's expensive. I think it's about $30 till it went on sale. And because Becca was having this sale, I ordered it. I have been trying it. It is a green bomb. You're not going to be able to see anything. It has some silicone and some blurring effects. It doesn't go on a green at all. Honestly, do I know if it's a miracle thing of any kind? I don't know. I've been trying it. I like the way things are going on on top of it. I wouldn't say I turned around and said, oh my goodness, this is the most amazing miracle thing I've ever seen, but I like it. 
And then I got a package two days later and one of you amazing, gracious, wonderful people signed up for BoxyCharm using my link. And so this month, if somebody signed up using your link, you got one of these. And to the person who did sign up, I love you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys never have to do that, of course, but when you do, I want you to know how much I appreciate it. I had to put a, go put on some gloss because my lips are feeling chapped. I'm actually just using the Smith & Colt gloss here. I don't even know what color it is in because you know I can't read it, but I love this stuff because it's just, it's very light, but it feels really good on the lips and it's just nice if you want just a little something. Now, <laughs> do not, yeah, don't say anything. I have three bags, well, two bags in a box from Ulta. Mm -hmm. So Ulta sent out the 20% coupons and then they sent out another 20% coupon and I don't like to let them go to waste. Plus I had Ulta points. You know how that goes. So I saw the new Milani palettes had come out. I didn't get the last ones like the... Um, they had come out with one not too long ago, and I didn't get it. They had two different ones. The Gilded Rouge was the one that interested me. I love how they put the colors on the back. So you can see it comes in cardboard, but nice sturdy cardboard packaging. Again, the names are on the back. I have played around with this just a little bit, and I love the plastic protector. It just flips up and down so you don't lose it. It does come with a nice mirror, by the way, just in case you need to know. So if I do a look with this, I will be using this because it's very, very convenient. This does come with two pressed glitters. I have not used the pressed glitters yet. They look, ooh, they're very soft. They look a lot to me like the pure glitters. They feel a little bit chunky, but it's actually, I mean, maybe because I'm sweaty, but it did stick to my hand. I would definitely advise wearing glitter glue with this if you were to use this or get it. You have a rosy gold and then, I don't know how to describe it. It's more of a pinky, pinky gold. They're very pretty. I have not used all of the shades in here, but so far I'm happy. They also remind me a lot of Lorac shadows. I don't know if you're a Lorac shadow fan. Lorac shadows are hit and miss to me sometimes, but yeah, so I loved the color story. Of course it had purples in it. And this is a $20 palette. It's not inexpensive. I think it's quite high priced for a drugstore palette, but I did have the 20% off, so that is why I picked this up. <laughs> this I actually have in my hair. I'm going to tilt my head down. I did a horrific job with this. This is just fun, like, temporary hair color, so I was like, oh, cool, let me try it. It's like freaking shellac. I'm going to do it here because I was going to do my whole head, and then when I felt my hair afterwards go crunch, crunch, I was like, yeah, no. So... It's very, I don't know if you can see it, it's very rare that these color sprays show up on dark hair, but this one actually does. Again, I really don't, I'm gonna get in the shower and wash my hair anyway, but it was on sale for $1.97. It's from Joico. It's the Instant Pink. They had other colors, but I wanted the pink. It was originally $10, and I got it for $1.99, so I figured $1.97, excuse me. So I said, you know what, let me just try it. It could be fun, but you will have to wash your hair like that night or the next day because it literally makes your hair completely stiff. I always go to the clearance section whenever I go into Ulta. I have to peruse it because sometimes you will definitely find some good deals. This is from Series Express, I think this says. Series X, Series Expert. I hadn't heard of it, but the original price tag was $20 and I paid $4.97 for it. It is a anti-breakage detangling spray. So I'm assuming that you spray this on your hair after you get out of the shower. I'm going to try it later because I'm getting in the shower. But for $4.97, I thought I would give it a shot and I could report back to you guys because I need all of the anti-breakage help that a girl can possibly get. Let's just say they had a lot of hair stuff in the clearance section. I had never heard of these. I didn't even know L'Oreal came out with this type of stuff, but it is the L'Oreal Professional, and they're the Mythic Oils. I had never heard of them. They were originally $40. I didn't know L'Oreal Hair Care actually went up to $40 because I haven't bought drugstore hair care in a while. 
This one is the Nourishing Oil, and this one is the Radiance Oil for Color Treated Hair, which I obviously have. This was, I paid $10, $9.97 for them. I love oils for my hair. They need all the help I can get. The bottle is so luxurious. It's glass bottle. It's aesthetically pleasing. And I figured, what the hey? Why not? I would never have paid $40 for L'Oreal hair care products, but for $9.97, I figured, why not? And this is the one for color treated hair. I didn't look at the ingredients to see what like the difference would be as far as it protecting your hair. So far, I like it. When I put it on, it does absorb nicely into my hair and doesn't leave my hair feeling heavy or greasy. It kind of sucks it up. I haven't tried it on wet hair, I've only put it on my dry hair because sometimes if you put on your wet hair and then you blow dry, it makes it even smoother. If you have oily hair, I have no idea how that's gonna work for you. I said before, a person with dry, parched, damaged hair, I think it's great. Keeping along with the hair care, this is also from Series Expert. Oh, you know what, guys? This is L'Oreal. I'm such a snap ahead. This is L'Oreal Series Expert, and this is L'Oreal Series Expert. <laughs> it's so funny. This was originally $27, and I paid $6.97 for it. It's the Color 10-in-1 Spray Perfector Multi-Usage. So this is also a detangler or just a protectant for wet hair. I haven't read the directions yet, because I can't. But again, for $4.97, I'm willing to try something new. $27? Not so much. Do I? Okay. And this is the Ulta Beauty. It was on sale for $3.75. It's the Indoor Outdoor Bronze Glow Dark Tanning Lotion. Now, when they say Indoor Outdoor, I'm wondering if it has any sun protection. Okay. So, by the way, I just read on the back the writing was at least a little bit big. This has no sun protection. It says use either with or without sun protection. So, that is something to note. Ooh, okay. It's an oil. I've never, actually I did get a sun tanning oil in, where was it? Maybe my FabFitFun? Oh, it has a nice smell to it. It smells like, what is that nostalgic suntan lotion smell? I cannot remember, but that feels really nice. It soaks into the skin nicely. <laughs> I'm gonna be really tan or really splotchy. The same day that they were having their sale, they have a summer sale going on at the moment. A lot of it is hair care, and I think I have enough hair care. They had two face products for 40% off, and I bought the Do You Fresh Glow Translucent Setting Powder. I have the Glow found the Do You Foundation. It's hard for me to wear it now because it is very radiant and it gets too slippy slidey in the summer weather, but I do like it in the winter weather for my dry skin. It comes very nice. Well, let me show you the top. It's very cute. It's got the little watermelon seeds on the front. It has one of these closed things. You see that powder just come out? It smells like freaking watermelon. Anya, are you watching? It does have a sifter, which is like one of the, not a sifter as a hard one, but the mesh sifters, which I love. It does have some shimmer to it. And I filmed a video the other day and I didn't realize it had shimmer and boy, did I go ham on my face. It is almost a highlighter. So you really have to brush on the back of your hand and go over. But I love the way this set my makeup. If I didn't have so much of it on, I think it would be gorgeous. So go in cautiously with it because I didn't know it was a radiant setting powder. They had this on sale for 79 cents. It is the Yes To Ultra Hydrating Energizing Coffee Mud Mask for dry skin. I love coffee, anything that I can put on my face. They had so many of them were sold out because they were on sale for 79, one was 49, and they're normally like $3 or more, so I thought that was a great deal. Then on the, also in the clearance section, they had the Beauty by Pop Sugar palette. This was, a, it says $20.97, but I believe these are more. To me, I think they were 25 or 35 or more dollars. I think they may have marked it down a couple of times. This whole palette collection, this whole Pop Sugar collection did not do well because people were outraged at the prices that they were charging. So this is what she looks like. Look at how tiny 
the Panzers. As a matter of fact, I think this was actually for originally $45, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to be giving this palette to my mom because she likes these colors. I like the colors too, but I do have a lot of these same neutral colors. This is such a large pan in comparison to the other teeny, teeny, tiny pans. I mean, look, you can barely get your brush into that one. But I like buying things for my mommy, so I got that for her. Oh, the other things I got my mom were the Benefit uh, Cabrow, I think it's called. The one with the brow fibers. And then I also got her the eyebrow urban decay pencil as well the one with the felt tip and everything because she needs some help with her brows so i got that for her also but i'm not gonna go take it away from her at the moment i don't know what happened really because i went into ulta with the plan upon getting a few things and i walked out with a lot more than i planned on well the price came off but this was on sale oh no it didn't this is on sale for $14.97. They're originally $30, which I think is such a high price tag. It's a finishing touch, the flawless shaver thing. I like this one because you got two extra blades. When you pay $30 or $20 something dollars for the original one, it only comes with one of the blades. This one comes with an extra one, and it also came with a little case, which I really like because, you know, it just kind of floats around. So I thought that, that was adorable, especially it being on clearance for half price. I have no idea why I bought this. Sometimes when you go in store, it could have two effects. One, the product you've been dreaming of disappoints you in person. And the other, the product you really didn't think you wanted, you do. It's a 35H hot spot palette. I haven't even looked at this yet. This is the palette. Do I own these colors? Yeah. Do I like these colors? Yeah, so that is why I picked it up. It has, um, again, I like this setup because you have the blues and the grays. You can create a myriad of blue colors. Like this one is just, I don't know, it's calling me. That's a stunning color. And so is this teal matte. That looks beautiful. I mean, look at that. Yes, again, I have these colors, but I love having them all in one palette. You get some beautiful neutral shades, and then you're getting also these berry tones as well. And who doesn't need a nice matte chocolate brown? Like I have 50,000 others. And also, I do like that these are very cool toned blues as well. I did need it, but I bought it. And that's my story. And they're not coming off. It keeps going. I forgot, thank you Clara for reminding me, Clara, that Ulta also carries the Shiseido cotton pads. I have about two packages left, so for the 20% off, I thought I would stock up on them. I'm still very mad at them for raising their price. I think it's absurd, but I love these. Too Faced had their 40% off. I don't need any more setting sprays, but I got a setting spray. I figured I may as well have the whole Do You collection. It is the Do You Fresh Glow setting spray, no denatured alcohol. It has an amazing mister. It smells like watermelons. It has the same mister as the watermelon glow recipe spray. I know two watermelon sprays. I'm into watermelon right now. This is this is fabulous. Doesn't splot you in the face. Yes, it gives you a dewy glow, but that's what I look for anyway, so I have no idea how it holds on to your makeup. Couldn't tell you, but I like it. And for 40% off, yes please. I also picked up, finally, the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. Now, since I was going in store, but I guess I didn't know I was going in store, I should have gone in store and tried it. Instead, I ordered it online. I think it's a slight miss with the color because I have been playing with it. Let me take this off, but I am making it work because again, I will not return something just because it's the wrong color. It's such a waste. It goes into landfill and it's very wasteful. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm still, I tried it about two times. I think it's definitely full coverage. I'm thinking it might be a little bit drying on my skin, which is odd because it has very good for you ingredients. So I'm not sure, but I'm going to, if you'd like me to do a a wear test thingy on it. I will be glad to do that if I could film it on a day that I'm not working. But I was wanting to try it and oh in case you're wondering I got 
Medium Neutral 3, MN3. So we'll see. It's very hard to pick a color with 100 shades. They don't have 100 shades in store. They have 40 shades in store. But MN3 is what I chose in the color. Could be just slightly too yellow for me. I'm not really sure. Yet it's neutral. I don't know. These were ridiculously on sale. I think like 49 cents or something. This is the Karuna Age Defying Face Mask. You know how I feel. Quite luxurious packaging on these. So I picked those up. I know. Step away from the face mists, Leanne. But I had to get the mini MAC Prep and Prime setting spray in pineapple. I know. Why not watermelon, Leanne? I don't think that maybe they didn't have watermelon. Love that it has the locking cap. This one doesn't have as fine of as a mist as the Too Faced one. And the smell isn't as strong. But I like it. And then the last thing that I got was Laura Gala High Def Glow Illuminating Duo. Beautiful colors. I'm not putting my fingers in it because this is going into a giveaway. Remember I said I got the full collection? I should have organized this, but you know me. The Too Faced Pineapple Glow Moisturizing and Brightening Face Mask. 40% off. I figured, why not? Packaging is just so freaking adorable. You know, it doesn't really smell very... Oh, it's so jiggly. It doesn't smell very scented. It smells more floral than it does pineapple. Definitely jelly-like. I think it's reminding me of the Glow Recipe Watermelon Mask. Now, but again, for 40% off, I like it. So this is one that you wash off. You put on a, I think they say, a even generous layer. You leave it on for 20 minutes and then you wash it off. I saw the ColourPop had some of their lipsticks on sale. I had no idea they were this tiny. Things are very deceiving online. This is the Strike Twice Mini Lipstick Collection, Liquid Lipstick Collection. I do like the fact that they're babies because I always prefer babies of things because they're much easier to go through and going through things like lipsticks and eyeshadow palettes and other things is very satisfying. Oddly enough, this really feels like a gloss to me. It doesn't feel like a lipstick, liquid lipstick at all. And I couldn't read the writing if you paid me. Hey, that must be a gloss because this one is definitely a liquid lipstick. I feel the need to try this one on. It's a little too brown for this look, but it's pretty. This one's beautiful too. This is a lipstick. The other one's a gloss. Okay, so you're getting two glosses and three liquid lipsticks. This is a pretty color too. You're not gonna be able to see it because it's very pale. Then this one must be another liquid lipstick. Yes, it is. I love my nudes, so I'm super happy that I got these. And I love that they're babies. You know. Another hair thing. A little one a little hair crazy. Again, all on sale. This is from Naturalicious. I'd never heard of it before. It is the Divine Shine Moisture Lock and Frizz Fighter Step 3. So I guess after you put in your other hair products, when your hair is wet, you can put this in. It is an oil. I actually tried it today in my hair. And you can even put it on dry hair as well. And I like it. It's made for curls, but I want to try it on my straight hair. It didn't make a difference to me. When I went to go get my hair done, my friend Tammy told me that the It's a 10 Miracle Defrizzing Curl Cream was miraculous. And you know that I need things for my curly hair in the summer. So I thought I would give this a try. This was not on sale. It was 20 something dollars. It's a 10 is a very expensive brand. But sometimes if something works, I'm willing to pay the money for it. So I picked that up. This screamed my name and it was on sale. It wasn't expensive. It is the Elf Jelly Pop Watermelon Jelly Cleanser. I am into fruits. <laughs> I like fruits. I can't smell anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, has a nice one. A very nice um, scent. I like the jelly cleansers in the summertime. You know, you're sweaty and everything. You really don't want to put on anything too thick and heavy on your face. And these just are always tend to be cooling. So I have tons of cleansers, so I didn't need it. I didn't need any of this stuff, but nonetheless, I got it. 
Then I got this. I was waiting for this. I missed out on it the last sale that they had. This is the Revlon Pro Collection Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. I need to go to a place in my house where I can actually run this. I can't run the air conditioner and this in my room at the same time. And of course, without the air conditioner on, you melt, so it's fruitless trying to dry your hair anyway. I'm really dying to try this out because I heard lots of good things for it, from about it, from it, whatever. And essentially, it is like a round, it's actually not round, it's more oval brush that can dry your hair and curl it at the same time, saving you steps, etc. I don't know whether it works. I heard th good things about it, but that remains to be seen. It was on sale, plus I got the 20% off, which is why I took advantage of getting it now. And I had two colors, and I actually like this color really very much. Now, I ordered some stuff from Sephora. I don't know what it was, and I don't know where they are. <laughs> the only thing the only thing I could find that I remembered was the Jouer Fun Fetty Highlighter Collection. It comes with a highlighter, lip topper, and also they say it's an eye topper. It was from Christmas, so it was deeply discounted. This is the little baby highlighter. I love the little baby highlighters. The packaging is beautiful. These are sparkly and it is raised. This was my first Jouer highlighter. Here it is. It's very, very powdery. I will say that. And it's duo chromey in that it go looks kind of white-ish, orange-ish in the pan. It kind of has a gold pinky glow to it. It kind of looks okay on my skin. I'm going to try a little bit on now. But it's iffy. Do you see also it has, it's got a purple, goldy, orange shift. Do you see that? I like it, but I'm not sure. So, I mean, it's a baby. I'm going to use it. I just, I don't know. The lip topper is just your standard sparkly gloss. So it is a a bit of a chunky of a glitter of gloss, but I don't mind it because you don't feel it. It's very comfortable on the lips. Then the last thing you got was an eye topper. Now, I was really expecting this. Let me just talk about the packaging first. The packaging is beautiful. It's sparkly, but it's um, encapsulated, and it's just very beautiful silver. I don't have this color in the Stila Glitter and Glow. Back to what I was saying. I expected it to be like the Stila Glitter and Glow, and it is not. It is most definitely just an eye topper. So you have to have shadow underneath, and then this is just going to give you just a little bit of something on top of that because you'll see the shadow underneath and it's not as opaque. And uh, the mistake that I made was I thought this was a one swipe deal. It's not. It's just meant to maybe give some spots to like the center of your eye on top of a darker shadow to give you some sparkle. Now that I know exactly what it is, I, I'll know how to use it and what to use it for. But you know when you get that disappointed because you're expecting something else? It, I don't think it's a bad product, but again, I was expecting something different. So I know. Can you believe it? I'm actually done. So yes, I bought a few things. <laughs> I kind of treated myself. It made me happy. And again, I, I love my makeup. I use my makeup. I take out my old products. I just don't try things and just put them away. I rotate. I go, what am I going to use today? And the excitement and the joy that it brings me. I don't have a lot of joy in my life. My makeup brings me joy. And I hope it brings you joy. And I hope I bring you joy. <laughs> so thank you so much for sharing in this like super duper mega kind of haul thing that I had going on here. I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too. I love you all so very much. I will thank you every single day for as long as I can, as much as I can, because you guys are the highlight of my day. And of course, my friends, whatever part of the world you are in on around, I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing week. I hope you are enjoying the heck out of the beginning of this summer. And I'll see you very soon in my next one. Yeah, very soon. Bye. I love you guys.